Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Apache Cassandra. In this video, we're going to use a Python client to execute Cassandra queries against our Cassandra cluster. So we're back on our Linux virtual machine here and we have Cassandra running as a background process. So in order to interact with our cluster, in this case, our single node cluster using Python, we need to install a driver. And we're gonna again, just like in the C-sharp tutorial, install the Datastax driver. And we're gonna use Python 2 for this. So to install this, we simply type in our terminal window, pip install Cassandra driver. And that should install the driver for us. So once the installation is done, we can navigate to a text editor that we can use to create Python files. In this case, I'm using Sublime Text and I've created a file cassandratest.py on my desktop. So what we want to do is we want to first import the package we just downloaded. So from cassandra.cluster import cluster. And then we want to say cluster is equal to cluster with an uppercase letter. And this will by default attempt a connection to Cassandra on our local machine, which is 127.0.0.1 which is correct in this case. If we wanted to connect to a different set of node, we would simply provide an array here with a number of IP addresses, and that would allow us to connect to a production cluster or a test cluster we're running where we want to be able to have a number of nodes that we can connect to in case one of these nodes is down. But for the moment, the default should be fine as we are connecting to our local host. We then need to create a session. So we simply type session, and the variable session is equal to cluster, dot connect and then we give a name of the key space we want to connect to we can go back to our cassandra shell to check the name of the key space it is just test key space the name of our key space is test underscore key space and that's what we want to connect to so we can simply type that and then to execute a query we simply type session dot execute and we give our query so we're gonna use double quotes here as we wanna use single quotes inside the query. We're gonna type insert into, then the name of our table, which is Python test, and has an ID, first name and last name as we created earlier. ID, first, name, last name, and then the values we want to insert. Again, we're going to use the UUID function, and we're going to give a name for first name, Bob, and second name, Hope. So insert into Python test ID, first name, last name, values, UUID, Bob, and Hope. And then we're going to simply print finished when we're finished this little program to insert some data into our cluster. We want to save this and then we want to return to a command window on our desktop. We can list the files. We can see we have our Cassandra test.py. So we want to type Python and Cassandra test.py and press enter to run it. We have a small error here from Cassandra cluster import cluster, probably because we use a small letter to import that, correct? So we go over to the top row, that should be uppercase, save it again, go back to our terminal and try running it again. And as expected, we get the finished to say our query executed. So if we go back to CQLSH, can we see that it has indeed inserted a record into the Python test table? So we do select star from Python test. And we can see that it has inserted an ID with a UUID and the name Bob Hope. If we reopen our Python file again, we can change the name, Bob Jones. We'll save that, and we go back and run it again. When it says finish, we know it's finished executing. We'll go back to CQLSH, run the select again, and we can see that there are now two records. We can also execute a select query through the Python code. So we wanna change the query. And what we want to do is we want to set the return of the query equal to rows. And then our query will be like the query we do in the shell. 
select star from and then the table name, which is in this case, Python underscore test. So we'll simply type Python underscore test. And what we want to do is we want to loop through all the rows returned. So for row in rows, and then we want to print the row first name and row last name. And that should print the first name and last name for all the rows in our database table Python test. So we'll save that. We'll return to our console window and we'll run Cassandra test pi again. We spelled Python test table wrong. So we'll just go back and change that. PY TH, save it again. Go back and try one more time. So Python Cassandra test.py run. And as expected, we can see Bob Hope and Bob Jones as the Python driver has successfully retrieved the two records from the database and printed them out in our Python code. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We covered the very basics of executing queries in Python using the Cassandra Datastax Python driver. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.